Hello everyone. Uh, thanks for watching my videos on Android. Well, uh, I'll be stopping the Android here. Actually, I'll be continuing with that. But uh, on parallel, I'll be starting with another video series that will be on manual testing. I'm uh, really very sorry about the sound quality because my headphone has recently broken. So um, I have to manage with the bad quality uh, microphones right now. So anyway, uh, we'll be discussing about manual testing today. We'll be starting off with this. So let's uh, get started with manual testing. <coughs> okay. So before I start with uh, manual testing, first of all, this is uh, majorly on software testing, not uh, anything else than uh, apart from software testing. So uh, when we call uh, testing, what exactly uh, do term testing means in in the industry? Uh, testing in a very simple plain flat uh, word what we can say is uh, comparing the output with the expected output for example we provide an input to a system system as suppose and uh, we get an output O and we have an expectation that this will be uh, um, the output should be uh, to some kind of criteria as per specifications okay so anyway we will discuss also what are the specification and how we define specification okay so uh, we will compare the real output that we have got by putting the input into the system and we will compare this output with our expected output so based on this comparison we will say that whether the system is as per our perfection or not and this is what we do in testing so anyway let's start with testing now uh, the these are the few things that we will be covering in this uh, video uh, implicitly but explicitly if you need anything any help or uh, any special request please uh, do make a comment please do just uh, let me know that if you want uh, something uh, more into deeper into these topics apart from this so finally we will be covering SDLC that is software development life cycle though our focus is not too much on SDLC test levels what are the different kind of test levels that we have test design techniques what are the test design techniques that we can use and uh, that is as per the standards software testing process or software testing life cycle uh, the life cycle of the software uh, testing the standard life cycle that we follow quality standards that is a bit off the topic but still we'll be discussing about different quality standards that is uh, that we already have in the market that companies or big organizations uh, they expect from us and the, this is also the last one but uh, domain knowledge uh, not very not very prominent one but, but still we'll discuss a little about domain knowledge what are the different domains that we have in the market and how do we <coughs> define this uh, do, uh, uh, dis um, uh, the various domains in our professional career okay now just move on to our next topic that is software development life cycle though uh, software development life cycle is not a big concern uh, as per a test engineer or being a tester the majorly we will focus so we'll just uh, but still software testing is one of the part of the software development life cycle i'll not be going uh, very explained in uh, this uh, series about software development life cycle i'll be briefing about it so basically we have two kind of development life cycle one is our sequential life cycle and another is incremental life cycle the sequential life cycle <coughs> we have models like waterfall model and v model that will fall under a sequential uh, life cycle uh, sequential style of uh, software development life cycle uh, basically uh, water uh, waterfall models and uh, we model you must be knowing about that we don't have feedback pass and all so shorts of shortcomings and uh, pros and cons we know about that the next type of testing that we have is an incremental model uh, that is a spiral model or a agile methodologies that we have that is the recent one most latest one that we have agile methodologies so these two are the incremental model we say because the modules can uh, be added in the middle of the software development life cycle okay it's not very sure that uh, in the first iteration itself we will get the complete uh, you know full form uh, requirement that we had about the software so that can be done in a different parts and different uh, iterations so similar is with the agile so i'll be not talking too much about agile and 
spiral model now so quickly let's move to the next topic that is software testing levels that is software the testing levels so we have uh, four different levels that is uh, this uh, this is as per the standards that we have the four levels that i'm talking about now depending on the kind of industry the kind of project that you're working in the uh, or the company for the kind of protocols that the company follows okay so this may vary from company to company from project to project from different domain to domain or or the or anything as such so now as per uh, standards we have four different level of uh, testing that we can perform okay the first level is called unit testing that we call or this is also known as component testing this is also known as module testing and program testing so please uh, do not get confused if in interview or somewhere somebody ask uh, uh, you about this testing uh, ex uh, in with different names and different uh, synonyms if they are asking so they all mean same that is unit testing or component testing whatever we say so uh, unit testing is uh, not as per too much of our concern because this is majorly done towards the dev side or the development team side okay component testing or module testing so what basically they do is they perform a uh, test they test the units okay the programs the small unit or the small modules that each programmer or each developer is developing okay so they test those uh, in their own environment okay with different perspective so we are not very much concerned about this and second is your level is called integration testing now uh, many times again depending on the organization your the com the protocol that your company follows the standard that your company follows or the product or the project you are in okay this can be done by development end or by a tester end or by both so integration testing is basically uh, we are integrating different modules the, uh, when the project has been developed in the development life cycle so it can be uh, that different modules of the project they get integrated together one system gets integrated with the other system now here what you basically check is the flow between the modules that if the if the data flow of one module is flowing into the other module or not basically this is what we do but again this can be uh, done by development and or by the tester end but uh, this is uh, this is also not too much of our concern the main concern of our side is a system testing okay now system testing is explicitly that is done by test engineers only or testers only okay once the uh, testing is completed once sorry once the development is completed project has been signed off to our end okay so we start off with a system testing in further uh, videos we'll be talking more about system testing what are the different types of testing that we can do uh, via system testing and all okay and the last uh, time kind of testing that is called acceptance testing okay or uh, uh, acceptance testing that is the uh, that is one of the but still this is also not too much of our concern not too much though we will discuss a lot about what is acceptance testing in further videos so uh, for now this was all for the this video so in the next video we'll be talking about other topics uh, thanks for watching please like comment subscribe and share thank you